Oh yeah, we are back on the trips again. Uh, this is uh, video number eight of uh, Tesla Model S trips. So this time we are going to North Cape, uh, Nui Cap. Uh, the trip is uh, estimated to 5,000 kilometers over 10 days. And um, yeah, With, in the car here, I'm carrying uh, 62 bottles of wine, six bottles of champagne, six bottles of uh, homebrew beer, a snowboard, six bags of clothes, and a wife. Yeah, and our luggage, of course. So uh, I think everything here, excluding the wife, um, weighs about 200 extra kilos. So, uh, the car is extra heavy now, so I have to drive carefully. And uh, in the south air, spring has come. Temperature is uh, high, higher than before. And uh, the days are longer. But uh, I heard that uh, in the north, it's not going to be that nice. Uh, it's still winter there, snowy, icy. So uh, I still have my uh, studded tires on. Yeah. Now in uh, Lillehammer, just arrived here. Uh, started charging. Came here with 160-ish uh, kilometers, so we're going to charge to about 80, 90 percent. I think 80 is plenty to get to Dumbos. So uh, we finished uh, eating and the uh, car is, um, I look at the app and it's uh, finished. But, um, what the heck? Dude, where's my car? I mean, which one is it? Is it the red Tesla or the red Tesla or the red Tesla? Wait, there, oh, there's uh, two more over there, two black Teslas. So right now, five Teslas charging up there in a little helmet. Yeah. Bah. Now me. She got some bear gum gum bjorn bjorn sweet bears. Yeah, that's me. So that's a uh, regular eighty five. That's P eighty five. That's mine. That's another P eighty five. Oh. Yeah, let's see. Uh, I think we are done here. Whoa, he has those uh, folding mirrors. I want that. Oh, man. Oh, he has those folding mirrors, too. Oh, man. Okay, we are back in the car. And actually, it was not finished yet. It's at 85%, but uh, I'm gonna stop charging now. The weird thing, though, is that uh, you can't stop charging uh, from the app. Hmm. You have to do it here when when charging at the uh, superchargers. So that's a weird feature. Okay, charging stop. Let me unplug and let's get out of here. Now in uh, Dumbas at the supercharger. This is the final supercharger. From now on, it's going to be uh, 22 kilowatt chargers and slower. So I better enjoy it while I can. 
Uh, anyway, we started charging just uh, five minutes ago or so. Um, and um, this time, I think we'll just charge to 90%. Yeah, I don't want to do 100% because that will just wear out the battery more than necessary. So, here's a little luggage inspection. Uh, here I have some, uh, I think it's clothes or shoes or something. There's my tripod. There's more stuff in there. The frunk. Um, yeah, that's the frunk. Yeah. Don't watch this, I'm gonna close the front with one hand. Yeah, I know it hurts. Okay. And in the back, we have our own luggage. Um, here's some wine, a bottle of wine. There's some more, more luggage, easy bring stuff. Uh, let's see, and then in the trunk, there is even more wine. Yeah, 62 bottles of them. Yeah, lots of wine. Uh, this is this cup noodles, my own luggage, uh, some more clothes for this to bring. Uh, let me close this one. Oh, oh. Here's some of my own food and even more wine. Yeah, so uh, that's it. Um, the way up, the way down. It's going to be interesting. I have a really interesting task. Yeah, it's something uh, alive. Hmm. Look at me. Look at wifey. Wifey's taking selfies again. <laughs> She's taking selfies. Let's take a selfie. Let's take a selfie. Yeah. Let's take a selfie with the car. Oof, it's cold here. I mean, it was uh, uh, 12 degrees down in near Lillehammer, but up here, I think it's like 5 or something. Oof, it's cold. Yeah. So, uh, where to go? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hello, guys. Hmm. It's impressive. <laughs> so, uh, where do you want to go? You have to pick in tonight, yeah. Hmm? To pick, to pick in... A name, eh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, what about a kiwi? Huh? Let's go drop a kiwi. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if she can speak Norwegian. Are you Sulten? Yeah, yeah, I'm Sulten. Oh, she can speak Norwegian now. That's impressive. Oh, okay, nah. Flink, flink. Hmm. And that's... That's after, like, uh, what? Uh, two months? Two months or something? Two or three months? I'm not sure. So, um, as I said earlier, uh, from now on, there's no supercharger. Which means I have to plan everything in detail. So, uh, this is the plan. I uh, calculated how long it takes, and I have distance, uh, and then charging time and what the range would be at different locations and then uh, where to sleep, where to charge, what charging speed, uh, names, number, which is not here, visible, um, and um, yeah, what stuff to deliver where and everything. So you know this kind of stuff, this kind of thing I have to do, it shouldn't be necessary uh, next year when they build superchargers in Norway. Wife is taking selfies. Heimdall, uh, this is Håkon, um, he messaged me on the EB forum and um, uh, he asked me if I wanted to borrow this one, 
which is um, uh, it is a like a semi portable uh, type 2 charger as you see uh, with a UMC you can only get uh, 16 amp 400 uh, volt but with this one you get 32 amp we are well actually 26 nowadays yeah but still really nice so I can I have the dual charger so I can utilize that hmm. but anyway look at this one this car is well I guess it's almost legendary it's um well you, you can see on the sign that it's an electric car it's a Toyota RAV uh, what, what uh, it's a Toyota RAV4 RAV4 yeah it's a uh, actually it's, it sounds like it's a four-wheel drive but it's a two-wheel drive front wheel it's a front wheel drive yeah oh. so it's a front wheel drive only but, but it works it's a 2000 model yeah, electric car yeah electric uh, it's 2000 a, model yeah and what's the range on it? Uh, this car can do uh, about uh, 160 uh, kilometers. Gotcha. I've been uh, driving with uh, my kids and wife, 160 meet, uh, kilometers on one uh, charge. That's pretty yeah, impressive. impressive. And it, it has, you know, rear seats and, yeah. and huge luggage space and everything. Yes, you could uh, carry on a lot of stuff with it. Mm. Never seen a RAV4 before with an electric. Uh, yeah, you know this reminds this, this logo reminds me of EV1. Yeah, it's from the same period of time. Hmm. Uh, those are the generation one electric car. It's got the same battery as the EV1 car. Actually, it's uh, the uh, famous uh, metal e uh, nickel metal metal hydride. It's hmm. called EV95. That's the number of the battery. And uh, this car has also, uh, what do you call it? It's a heat uh, exchange system uh, in Norwegian Weidemepumpe. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, so it's uh, yeah. air condition combined with heater in the same. Oh, so it has like Tesla should have. Yeah, it's, it's quite uh, yeah. working very nice. It's got two big uh, fans blowing and it's some cooling equipment hmm. all together. And also they have uh, well, the heater in in cold weather is not uh, you got don't have uh, them. You can't have twenty five degrees inside, but uh, mm -hmm. you can have maybe eighteen or twenty degrees. So they have to uh, have. In addition, there is uh, a special made uh, windshield, which got a uh, heating system, which is uh, I think one point five kilowatt of power. In the window? So, yeah. So they're high. What the heck? <laughs> yeah. So the, you can see it's, it's uh, transparent, but the high voltage battery, the traction battery, is feeding the, the heater in the windshield. So those connector, you huh. see... Uh, That's pretty smart, because you never yeah. get the uh, ice on the windshield. Yeah, yeah so it, if, huh. if there is uh, some moisture or ice on the windshield, huh? you just push a button and it's in, in one minute or uh, so, the, the windshield is, is cleared. Hmm. So it's uh, pretty nice. Hmm, this is quite interesting car. Hmm. Yes, I had it for um, like four years, and it's uh, this car has had no service. Oh, it's, you can just drive it. Hmm. It's uh, no non-maintenance vehicle, so it's uh, I I like it a lot. And uh, this car, there's no uh, support from anywhere from Toyota. They could probably do some replacement on the brakes and the. Uh, and the suspension on on the other things, but uh, on the electrical components on the battery, there's no support. But uh, anyway, there's no no uh, no nothing to worry about. Hmm. It's the car is working perfectly. The batteries are 14 years old and they are working as new. So, hmm. wow! I think the future is bright for the Tesla as well. If if the Tesla will work uh, as good as this car, it's it will probably uh, be a, a low maintenance car. Well, I'm trying to prove it uh, by driving it uh, a lot. <laughs> so 28,000 kilometers for now, and it'll be 33,000 kilometers when the trip is end. Hmm. It's uh, 1 uh, 30 uh, a.m. 
And uh, we are now in uh, Levange. And um, this is the uh, Rouge house. He was so kind to lend us uh, a charger. So yeah, we are now charging at the 32 amp, uh, which is uh, good enough for tonight. Yeah, we'll probably get to 90-ish percent by the morning. Oh, it's cold there. It's wind, a little bit of wind. Four degrees outside. Mm. So, uh, yeah. Um, by the way, so here's Rua. That's his uh, white uh, Model S. S45. Uh, S85, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, hmm. This is my Tesla garage. And this is the Tesla watching chair. Oh, oh, I see. You, <laughs> you, sit, <laughs> you yeah. sit and watch a Tesla. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here. <laughs> mm, like yeah. this. With a coffee cup here. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why Tesla doesn't look that bad? Yeah, it's nice. My wife uh, prefers white Tesla. Oh, yeah. she does? Yeah. Sensible woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 so it's, it's pearl white. Hmm. Oh, that's the pearl. It's the pearl. Pearl white. Wait, is that the one that costs extra? Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait. Is this the? You can you can see it. Uh, it's the metallic shine. In the oh yeah, that's awesome. Well, I think it doesn't show that. No, well, maybe on the, not on, on the camera. video, but uh, should, maybe here. Uh, should show in the in daylight. It shows pretty good. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, it it's it looks better than the regular. Yeah, I agree. Uh, standard white. I agree. Huh. Cool. But it's not washed now because I'm going long distance trip tomorrow, so I don't. Yeah. Don't bother washing now. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, but it's um, it's late and um, yeah, we are tired, so we better get in. It's cold. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but um, anyway. Uh, a few words about the wine. Wine should be stored at tw 14 degrees Celsius, I think. 14? I think, or is it cold, cold on that? Well, I'm not a wine expert. Well, that's what the guys but, in the... But ask me about beer. Oh, you have beer? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I that's at the bottom shelf. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, I mean, it shouldn't be freezing temperature here, right? No. Okay, it's yeah, not, that's uh, good. So uh, I guess uh, wine should uh, cope with any temperature not freezing. Yes. Yeah. Uh, ideally 14 degrees Celsius. So uh, You can bring it inside, but there and then it would be too heavy. Oh, no. no it, it, uh, it's not good for the wine. <laughs> so uh, I will uh, keep the wine in the car and what I could do is uh, just switch on the heater or actually I think uh, the chargers which are located behind be, be, um, under the seats they uh, they should generate about 500 watts of power uh, of heat yeah. Yeah. yeah which should be enough to keep uh, the car heated maybe like 10 degrees Celsius that's fine for one yeah It's almost uh, 8 in the morning. Uh, I've been sleeping for about uh, six and a half hours. And um, yeah, we have to get going soon because uh, it's a long drive today. Uh, well, the drive isn't that long, but it's going to take a while because we don't have any superchargers on the way anymore. We have to rely on. Uh, I think it's about 11 kilowatt charger. Well, we don't get 11, we get like 9. Yeah, maybe 11. So we'll see. The car has been charged up during the night. Uh, from Levange to Motion, there's uh, 315 kilometers. And uh, just to be sure, I'm charging up to max. Well, close to max. We'll see, because uh, there will be some rain today. And the rain will eat up more energy than uh, a dry road. And during the night, 
I've been I woke up a couple of times to check the temperature. It's been on uh, above 12 degrees all the time. So now I'm preheating the car. So I think the wine and the beer should be fine in there. Yep, that was pretty nice uh, of uh, Rua to lend me a bed and a bathroom. That's pretty much all we need. So uh, the car now has been charged up to about 378 percent. I mean, 378 kilometers. So this should be enough to get to Mushan. And today we had to go all the way to Buda, which is about yeah, it's over 600 kilometers more. in uh, Stenchai. Uh, we're gonna eat some uh, noodles. Yeah, a cup of noodles. Oh yeah, because we are Asian people. Uh, and so this one is a 12 volt kettle, but uh, it boils awfully slow because uh, it can only do 145 watts power. So the trick is we have cheated. This is a Stanley what do they call it? I mean, it's not a time loss, but uh, yeah. Oh, so we have uh, boiled water beforehand yesterday. And uh, what we're gonna do is boil it. I mean, it should be pretty hot. This one, it's one of the best ones, it keeps the heat really well. There you go. Put some hot water in here. Oh yeah, it's still very hot. So I guess we need about I don't know how much. There, I think that's enough. Okay. And then put it in. Okay, look at this. So yeah, it will start boiling. Oh whoa, what's that? It's in here. Oh, some dust. Okay, that's fine. I can eat it. Yeah, it's great. And meanwhile, we are at the train station. Found out there is a charger here, charging at uh, 13 amp. So we're gonna get a few kilometers by eating. Oh yeah. Enjoying the view of uh, Namdaren. This is right outside of Grong. I heard rumors that they will uh, build a supercharger here. Well, it's just rumors, so I don't know. Now in uh, motion, I'm almost out of juice. 24 kilometers left, and there's supposed to be um, a red plug here, the famous red plug, 400 volt. Um, I can charge. Not sure where it is. Trying to find it. It's supposed to be around here. Cabo is uh, a store for selling. Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, oh, moving homes. You know, RV, right? Recreation vehicles. Uh, where's that red plug? Can't see no red plug. Oh yeah, there's the plug. There's the plug. Oops. 
But the only problem is there is a freaking truck in front of it. But I think if I back up Tesla over here should be long enough. Uh she So I backed up here. Um I'm trying to use this uh, portable charger. Uh I plug in but uh, I don't know what the heck is wrong, man, because... Uh, oh, gave me instructions that I'm supposed to plug it in and then switch it on and there should be a light here, but... Is this test? Hmm. I mean, is there any other buttons around here? No, there's only one button, right? On off switch. So what the heck? I mean, is it power here? Oh, okay, maybe uh, I'll try the UMC. Yeah. So um, mm. we try the, the connector. Wait, uh, okay. It's like two amp, two sixteen amp. And no power. So my guess is the fuse is uh, out. And uh, the problem is the guy here. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't have the key. The key is in his car, and um, uh, someone borrowed his car. Which means I'm stuck here with no power, 20 kilometers left. And it's raining, it's pouring down. So these two guys, they're trying to help me, which is super. Um, I think one of the guys, one of the guys here, he. Um, we will ask uh, uh, a repair garage because he's seen those red plugs. So maybe we can use another plug. Uh, and it would be really great if we could use a plug with a 32 amp uh, fuse. But then we get the uh, full charge. And it will take four hours instead of eight hours to charge this. So we'll see. Someone, someone came here and and uh, opened the door. So can we go? Come on. Uh, so, the fuse box should be somewhere here. Yeah. Where, where the sticking scope then? Oh, there's some. There's some amp cars here. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, <laughs> it's working now. Oh, yeah, look at this. Uh, so, we can start charging. Yeah, let me see. Let me plug it in then. Mm. So, what I have to do in the beginning is to lower the, lower the current charge port. Oh, this is great. How's that? Open this one. Okay, plug it in. Okay, blue. Let's see, this one goes green. And uh, lock this door. Oh, yeah, I have to lower the power or it will. Uh, see, at least try 16 amp. Hold us on, uh, Chad. Oh, super. Super. Etter bare kan vi bare lukke igjen, ikke sant, når vi skal ut. Ja. Oh, this is great. Uh, great. I mean, those guys, they're awesome. <laughs> Because, uh, <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Um, yeah, so now we can experiment with... Oh, let me close the door. We can experiment with uh, what, uh, what power, what voltage, I mean, what current uh, the fuse is at before it uh, shuts out. So, um, but anyway, this guy... Uh, Magnus. Magnus! He actually, he's going to order a Tesla soon. Yeah. <laughs> so that's awesome. And this, yeah, this car is insane. <laughs> yeah. Need I say more? Hmm? <laughs> so these, these two guys, they are uh, car enthusiasts. So, uh, plenty of time for them to check out the Tesla. Okay, okay, uh, let me check inside here. So uh, I guess uh, it is charging now at 16 amp. Um, 
what we could try now is uh, increase it. Uh, someone in the forum was guessing. Uh, someone in the forum was guessing uh, 20 amp. So let's try 20 amp and see how it goes. Now um, we've been here for about uh, I don't know an hour. No, two hours. Uh, I don't remember. But uh, we had to adjust down the current to 20 amp. At 24 the fuse went and then at 22 we charged for about one hour and then the fuse went out again so um, we're trying 20 amp now and uh, those two guys they said they uh, could uh, drive us to uh, a restaurant or something so we're gonna use the Skoda to get there yeah I think I should buy them uh, pizza or something. Yeah, they've been so nice to me and uh, without them, I wouldn't be charging right now. So, yeah, I guess this box here, yeah, let me just stay here. It's waterproof. Uh, Alright, good to go. Um, we've been in uh, motion for uh, six and a half hours and in about uh, 20 minutes we can finally leave so uh, you see we've been charging and uh, it seems like 20 amp worked uh, it also seems like 21 amp works so uh, 21 is the magic number yeah but you see, I did a full charge again. It's uh, 320 kilometers to Buda. But here's the situation today. We are here in motion and we are going to Buda over here. Yeah, 320 kilometers. Um, the problem is this one, Saltfjella, the salt mountains. Uh, there's a storm over there, so which means it's a convoy there. And uh, well, by the time we get there, in about two hours, you know, the, the weather might be better. But as it's for now, there's a convoy, and I have experience with the convoys before. We might have to wait one or two hours. Um, yeah. And each hour, the car would drain about six to seven uh, typical range kilometers. Yeah. So that's why I'm charging to full. I guess when I hit 399 something, I can go, yeah, I don't have to wait for the last uh, 1%. So, uh, we should be home on well, the GPS says uh, midnight. But, um, um, yeah, I have to drive slowly because uh, it's been raining all day. And uh, the road is wet. And from my experience, when uh, I drive on wet roads, uh, the car uses like 10% more energy so I have to do 75, 80 yeah I might start on 75 so it's uh, 8 in the evening on a Saturday so it shouldn't be too much traffic so I'm not going to disturb too many people yeah you know that's life for now for electric cars but um, by the end of this year, hopefully, there will be superchargers, more superchargers in Norway. So instead of waiting here for seven hours, you know, we could get away with less than one hour. Check the status on the roads on the website, and uh, Saltfjella is now open. So it seems like the weather has uh, calmed down. So hopefully, when we get there in about half an hour, it is still open. Yeah. Okay. 
so um, we are now at the foot of the mountain and the sign here says Sortfjell open oh yeah okay hopefully it will still be open when we get there I think it's about 15 minutes Finally, so that's uh, uh, Bjorn also, two beers. <laughs> uh, so he's going to get the wine. But uh, let's see, well, this one can actually just stay there or uh, stick it out. So this wine is going to Hush. I marked it with an H, but this one is for you. Want some wine in here? Okay, that's yeah, fine. In uh, Buda, it's uh, Sunday uh, afternoon. Well, yeah, and um, this white house, big house, it's my mom's house. You see, on the first floor, we have a store selling uh, Asian, well, exotic food, and then on the second floor, my mom lives, and then there's some apartments she's renting. Yeah, so it's quite big. This house, yeah. So her store, Nylon Import, has been existing for 30 years now in Norway and uh, my mom has always uh, been doing business with uh, selling stuff. Yeah, let me see, can I get in here or do I have to go in the back? No, it's close, okay, I'm gonna go around. Okay, and then, oh, oh okay, no. well, she'll open it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Alayva. That's my mom. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. In! Oh, no, but fine, no. Uh huh. Then. No. I'll do some. No. I mean, I fire. No. Okay, here's my mom's store. She bought a new printer. So, you see, she's selling uh, spices, uh, rice, uh, more spices. Uh, pickle stuff, tea, uh, beans, lentils, uh, olives, um, what else? Uh, yeah, bamboo stuff, um, um, pasta, uh, 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 noodles. Oh, that's a big freaking cup noodle. Holy crap, what is this? Some young, isn't that the. Isn't that the car? Some young? No, maybe not. Okay. Um, so there's a lot of stuff here. Quite impressive. Mm -hmm. And then here, just two counters. Yeah, lots of people, lots of customers. Oh, I have a stack. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, this is good one. That's also good. Oh, this is also good. Oh, yeah, that's, oh, that's just so good. Oh, 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 oh. oh chili nuts. Oh, yeah. Oh, good stuff, good stuff. Oh. And, uh, here's some more uh, food. Um, also the freezers. I think they have some spring rolls and stuff in it. And you know, all the vegetables. Yeah, fresh vegetables. And in this room, there's a, a vegetable room. What, what, why is it closed? Hmm, what the heck? Uh, well, okay, yeah. And there, there are vegetables. So yeah, um, and of course, around here, I have to work for the food, so uh, I have to help her with some computer issues. So this is the old brother from another mother printer, yeah, it's dirty, schmutzig, uh, she bought a new one, and uh, I think I have to help her install it, yeah, 
Uh, she's using a printer to make uh, this um, uh, labels for the spice. There's something wrong here, what the heck? Hmm. Look at this. This is a LPT cable. Inking Chinese secrets. I think they're almost dead in use. So, let's see. So, we are in the living room. In my mom's house. So, there's the working station. My TV. So far. Mom is cooking. Uh, this is the second living room. Mm. Oh, oh, look at this. These are my brothers. That's me. That's my older brother, Willie. And this is Johnny. So Willie lives in Prague and Johnny lives in uh, Thailand. Yeah. Oh, look at this. There's some pictures of my mom when she was young. Mm. Oh, why is she hiding them? Hmm. Wow. So, oh, oops, I'm making a mess over here. Okay, okay. Right. Huh. Right. And, uh, oh, we just, okay. She used to um, play bowling in Norway and uh, she had won lots and lots of trophies. That's one of them. Here's more. Oh yeah, lots of trophies. Look at that, look at that. First place, club master. First place, uh, New Year's tournament, 98. Uh, best uh, woman, polar team. Oh, uh, no. oh. oh. more so with trophies. Holy crap, oh, that's a big one. Holy shit, that's a big one. So yeah, that's quite impressive, I have to say. Yeah. So that's the episode of today's scripts. Oh yeah. Okay, we've been helping uh, my mom with uh, some work in the store, and now we're going to the car. So yesterday I parked in the garage um, where there is a. Uh, Red plug, uh, 400 volt, three phase, uh, 16 amp. So it was uh, finished charging in about five hours or so, like six hours maybe. Yeah. Uh, now we'll see. Um, we're going to meet um, the owner of the shopping mall, mm -hmm. the Koch family. Um, Koch, it's spelled C O uh, C. Hey, wait. K O C H, yeah. So uh, they have been uh, around Boulder for a long time, so everyone there knows. Uh, it's, uh, I'm gonna meet the big boss. Oh, yeah. Let's see, where's the entrance? This is the glass house. Oh, there's the, the mall, by the way. So they own this um, big mall and they also own uh, the parking area below here. So let's go inside. So, uh, yep, there he is. He's, there's a the guy. Uh, he has a uh, black more or less. Yeah, he's uh, based on the number 24. Wow, that's that's uh, an old one. <laughs> hi, hi. Hey, hey. Yeah. Björn. John Ergen, Higley. Hi, hi, Emily. John Ergen, Higley. Yeah. I gave him some goodies from the store. And then he looked at some of my adapters. So uh, that was pretty nice. Um, there are actually several uh, red plugs around here. At least three in this uh, floor and there should be even more in the, in the lower uh, sections here. And uh, well, at least uh, the boss himself, he said that uh, uh, I can use it whenever I want. 
and they are planning on uh, making this like a semi-public um, parking for exclusively for Teslas but you know that will be in the future but for now it's um, yeah you have to have a, an appointment to charge here so, yeah that's good and uh, I show him some of the equipment he was a bit interested in this one uh, you know with this one you can utilize the 22 kilowatt charger uh, and also at home he had a, a three-phase wait where is this that's a UNC yeah he had one of these in the wall so he couldn't use the blue adapter but uh, if you get one of these uh, connectors yeah you can uh, charge at uh, 32 amp uh, um, there's some other adapters here uh, here's a red uh, to blue I think this one is common in uh, in um, Denmark I think I use it in uh, Sweden one so there's this is also another three pin so this one also goes in the red adapter this is on it's interesting you get uh, 16 amp out of Shuko so um, what else do you have this is just an uh, extension this is oh yeah this one is also very nice this one goes from uh, 32 amp 400 volt to uh, 16 amp that fits in the USB or oh, the red adapter uh, there's the Menekes, and yeah, this is pretty much all the uh, charging equipment I always carry with me. We are now leaving Buda and heading for Lofoten, Moskines. Yeah, so uh, this boat trip is going to take 3 hours and 15 minutes. Camping mode. Uh, set the car to neutral. Uh, put the parking brake on and switch on the lights. And we have 19.5 degrees uh, inside here. Actually, we can just lower it to 19. There's plenty. Wifey, she's now calling. Uh, in the back here, we still have. Uh, yeah, we move the luggage in the back. And uh, yeah, this should be fine. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, we have to sleep in the in the seats, but uh, it's only for one night. Tomorrow we're gonna stay in a hotel in uh, Tromsø. So yeah. Um, six in the morning and um, well we've been sleeping for uh, five and a half hours uh, as you can see no let me turn up the light a bit there okay we have uh, 329 kilometers yesterday we uh, had 358 so we spent 29 kilometers in five and a half hours, which is about uh, five kilometers per hour. And um, the typical range is actually 180 uh, watt hour per kilometer, which equals to less than uh, one kilowatt per hour in heat. So that isn't too bad. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, temperature has been set to 90 degrees. So. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna prepare stuff and get going. Okay, so now we are in Sutland, and uh, it's probably no surprise that uh, this car can hold all this luggage. So that's uh, five bags, well actually six bags, and a snowboard. Oh yeah. So finally, deliver that stuff. And uh, the car is uh, low on power. I have like 19 kilometers left, so. We better find that 22 kilowatt charger. Oh yeah, so this beast of a charging station. And put on now. And uh, we are charging at uh, 27 amp, 26 amp. I mean, yeah, it's about 18 kilowatt. So it should take, uh, I don't know, four hours, yeah. And you see, um, the charging station, it's actually capable of 62 amp, but um, Tesla can't utilize it. So uh, lunch today is uh, sticky rice with uh, pork chops and uh, uh, sweet chili sauce. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna find a restroom here in uh, Sutland. There's actually quite a lot of cars there to be uh, in a small town, but uh, I think there are some uh, there are some military. Uh, air okay. Uh, you see over there? There are some ships. Uh, I think they have a military station here in Sutland. So wow, that's some huge battleships. Yeah, I don't know the history about uh, Sutland, but uh, hmm. cool. We have been uh, charging in um, Sutland for about uh, two hours, and um, we are at 192 kilometers now. Uh, there is just one concern I have. Here's the route, well, almost. Uh, we are going to Hashta. But I was going to charge up uh, here in Anschlimon near Bardufoss. Uh, but the guy uh, haven't responded yet, so I can't rely on you know getting a charge there. So, um, but the distance from um, Sortland via Hashta to Tromsø. It's about 370 kilometer, which should work if I take it easy in one charge. Hmm. Yeah, so if he doesn't respond within two hours, that's what we're gonna do. We have to charge 100% and then drive there without charging. Yeah. I'm still in um, Sortland charging, and uh, guess what? Another Tesla showed up, and another one. 
<laughs> so, so far away from Oslo and still so many Teslas there. Uh, this one is uh, S485 and this one is also an S85. And look at this. This is brilliant. T oh, oops. Okay, well, um, I almost broke it, but uh, this is a uh, that's it. If I put it in there, oh, 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 oh. Okay, but the idea is that it will just open. Let me open the trunk. And um, oh yeah, custom LED trunk lights. Wow, I kind of like it. Holy shit, this is awesome. Because the the um, the standard light in the uh, Mollus is really bad. This one is nice. <laughs> cool. That's awesome. Uh, anyway, um, this is uh, that's uh, Bjorn and that's uh, Jorn and uh, I am uh, Bjorn. So we have a Jorn, Bjorn, and a Bjorn. Uh, we have been there for about uh, five hours car is almost fully charged so we're gonna stick to plan B which is to drive directly to Tromsø uh, 370 kilometers yeah so I have to drive slowly like 70 kilometers per hour or something but on the way there now we have to go to a ferry and take a ferry and uh, oh let me see uh, there is uh, 30 kilometers to the ferry, which would take 29 minutes. But you see, uh, the next ferry will uh, leave uh, 5.30. So uh, I can either sit here and wait, or I can drive slowly. I'm, I, I will try to drive slowly to the ferry. To the, yeah, so I can save energy. So maybe I'll drive in like 60 kilometers per hour or something. I don't want to drive too slow because um, I will hold up traffic. I'm just gonna sit here and wait until it's almost done. Yeah. We are now on the other side of the shore to watch Hasta, Hasta, and um, good news. The guy with the cable in Anschlimon, he uh, replied, um, um, yeah, I should be able to get um, 32 amp, 400 volt, three phase, <laughs> which means <laughs> I can drive in legal-ish speeds again. Oh yeah. Now in um, Hashta, <laughs> and uh, I just delivered the uh, wine and the beer. So uh, yeah, now we don't have any uh, easy bring task uh, again. We'll pick up something on the way back. But, uh, mm -hmm. uh, now we are going to Tromsø. Well, actually, we're gonna charge in uh, Anslim one first. Yeah, there's supposed to be a 400 volt uh, 32 amp over there. Yeah, that's great. Okay, let's get going. You know, um, I would love to spend some time here in um, Hashta, but the uh, problem is uh, this is an expedition to uh, North Cape, so uh, I don't have too much time here in Hashta. Yeah, we will have some more time in uh, Tromsø though.
we are now in uh, Anschlemuan at um, caravan shop. Yeah, another caravan shop. Uh, and we are charging. But uh, we are only charging at uh, 32 amp, 230 volt. So, unfortunately, there was been some misunderstanding. Um, the the plug they had is only um, a blue plug. Yeah, blue 32 amp, not the red one. So, right now I'm using the UMC, and uh, yeah, charging at 32 amp. And uh, right now we have 125 kilometers on the battery, and um, it's 127 kilometers to Tromsø. Yeah, so uh, we will probably stay here for about one hour and I don't know, eat something and relax a bit. Uh, yeah, so we will be in Tromsø. Uh, I don't know, um, 1 a.m. or something. Yeah. So it's, it's still winter here, you know? Look at this. Lots of snow. I mean, uh, two days ago, three days ago, we were in, uh, in Oslo and Lillehamn, and uh, it's almost spring there, but not here. Hmm. Okay. Wife is uh, having no cup noodles. Myself. Getting um, salad. Yeah. The car has been charged up to 134, so um, maybe we'll leave at 150 ish or something. found um, the charging point it's only 13 amp well it's 16 but uh, I'm using the Manicus plug so I'm getting 13 amp uh, in the parking, parking garage so um, yeah it's fine here oh yeah all the snow is melting so there's a Manicus cable so it's gonna stay here for uh, the night so uh, while um, the car is parked over there, this nice guy from uh, the EV forum, he will offer us transport to the hotel. Well, he actually he has a Tesla, but uh, right now he's working uh, as a taxi driver. So, where, where, where's the Tesla, by the way? Where's the Tesla? Uh, my wife has it. Oh, oh I see. <laughs> All right. So it's getting late, so we better get to the hotel. We are in the hotel room. Wife is getting a shower. Oh. Yeah, let me show you guys what stuff I bring for the trip. Uh, this is uh, lemonade, uh, you know, mixed with water. This is concentrate. So you try not to buy too much Coke. Uh, sometimes, you know, when you buy a menu, you get Coke. Always nice to have some uh, clean water. Uh, bring some snack with us uh, this is a thermal bag which is nice for putting hot meals in it uh, yeah and I always carry my uh, photo bag and I uh, have a laptop well this time I have a laptop usually I'm too lazy to bring a laptop so uh, yeah and also not every hotel has a dryer so we brought our own dryer yeah hmm. so this is hotel the uh, Amali Hotel Amelie Amali Hotel mm, really nice hmm. about 800 krona per night so yeah I mean uh, it's nice to sleep in a car but it's also nice to get a shower and uh, sleep in a nice warm bed you know like this hmm. It is now 
um, Tuesday morning and um, it's uh, snowing outside here in uh, Tromsø <coughs> yeah uh, as you can see lots of snow yeah it's still winter here in the north even in uh, what's what's the day today 14th April 15th let me, let me check here today is the 15th of April yeah and um, well today we are going uh, only 230 kilometers uh, to um, what's the place again? Sørsjøsen uh, in Nordøysa, and uh, the car has been charged to about 180 kilometers, and we should charge to almost 300 because snow eats a lot of range, and also there will be about 10, 12 uh, meter per second headwind, so that will also eat more range. So, and I've been charged at. Uh, 13 amp Shuko this night but there's a guy here he can access um, 400 volt uh, 16 amp so uh, we're gonna try that for a couple hours see how it goes we are now back in the garage so um, my friend here Bant he's been so nice to drive us uh, with his uh, Merc to the, to the garage and uh, yeah, <coughs> according to the plan now, we're going to charge up at um, 400 volts. Yeah. Oh, those, those red plugs, they are awesome. <laughs> we charged at uh, a blue plug yesterday and it was 32 kilometers per hour. So the red plug should give us 50-ish, yeah. So we are at the garage. And uh, since this is a 16 amp, we can just use the UMC. We need that uh, fancy box, and there's the red plug. This is uh, snotty mm. for us uh, EV drivers. Oh, this is kind of tight. Put it in there. Oh yeah, okay, it's in. Oh yeah, green light. Let's see, got it blend. Oh yeah, that that one. Yeah, okay. Green light. Let's see. Get in here. Okay, start uh, ticking up and um, since I have dual charger, I will utilize the 16 amp uh, signal chargers at the moment. They can only get the 13 amp, right? I think that's what right. I heard, yeah. So 16 amp isn't too bad. We should be, should be getting out 50 kilometers per hour, so. We have to stay here for about three hours. Hmm. We are now parked outside um, Dakwarusa and they uh, sell uh, rims and uh, tires. So they are so nice to offer me free charging. And as you can see, it's a freaking storm out here. So we are going, we're going to hang out at the um, uh, shopping center or something, get a coffee or a coke or something. Maybe Maybe Amory wants to shop mm -hmm. right now, man. But the uh, holy crap, this weather. Okay. Our friend Ban drove us to a shopping mall in his Mercedes E-Class taxi. We are now in the parking garage in the shopping mall and. Uh, I'm gonna check out the Tesla. And here it is. So yeah, this is a blue, uh, blue metallic. Uh, it's actually one of the, those one of the earlier cars, based on the license plate. Ooh, yeah, nice interior. It's up uh, in So they went for the same uh, tan um, leather as mine and uh, panorama roof. And it's uh, it's a nice color, the blue one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it's, I guess it looks better in sunlight. Yeah. Huh. But still here. Hmm. Nice. So, uh, yeah. We have been charged up to uh, 350 ish kilometers. So, uh, I think that took uh, how many hours? 
three hours, four hours or something. Yeah, on 16 amp. Um, yeah, so this is great. We are uh, now going from uh, uh, Tromsø. We're going to drive the long way around to uh, Sørsjøen in Nordreisa. Yeah. So, um, and I think the weather now has calmed down. So that's good news for us. Hmm. We are now in uh, Sørkjosen, um, it's uh, yeah, 42 kilometers left, so that's good. Yeah. So we're gonna unload some stuff here, we're going to sleep here for the night. This lovely white house uh, where Rodne lives, uh, he has ordered a Model S. So um, first we're gonna unload the stuff and then we will charge nearby here at 400 volt 16 amp oh yeah that's the best stuff oh anyway let's go say hello to you hey okay, son and Welcome to the uncharged territories. <laughs> oh yes <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah this is uh the land of the snow. Hello. Yeah. My name is Rodner. I'm Marie. I'm Marie. I'm a, yeah, I've seen. I've heard about you <laughs> on the video. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so I just we really wanna yeah and those stuff. While Amory was getting a warm welcome by uh, Rodner's <laughs> dog, we went to the local power distributor to get a car charged up. Fine. Wow, this is a freaking fat cable. Mm. Holy crap. And now what happens? Blue. What the heck? It's supposed to turn green. It should. Um, ah, that's okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. How much do you get? Yeah, this is going to be interesting. I can see the fuses here are actually 400 volt and 40 amps. Oh, nice! So you can have... Uh, and uh, yeah, there is a transformator as well, and it's secure with 63 amps. So you probably could get uh, 25, 27 kilowatts. Oh, wow. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it starts ticking up now. I have never... Um, charge at this speed so far up north <laughs> yeah we had a lovely dinner with uh, Rodner's family and got some much needed rest it is about uh, 10 in the morning and uh, we're gonna go check out the car uh, yeah <laughs> it's uh, it's a bit, a bit cold there. Huh? 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 I don't know if the door is There's the Tesla. Yeah. And uh, I was so lucky to get the uh, charging at the uh, Imber. 22 kilowatt. Yeah, Imbe is the local uh, power um, 
distributor. Yeah. Now, car has been charged up from 30, no, 40 kilometers yesterday to 340. You can see I use 8 amps. But now we're just gonna ramp up the speed to 16 amps. Yeah, and uh, for today, uh, we don't need to use a full charge, so 90% is enough. So uh, the host here, the Rodney, uh, he has also ordered a um, red uh, P85. Yeah. And actually, right now, the status is that uh, the car is under production. Yeah, so um, hopefully in, uh, I don't know, five to six weeks, maybe, it'll be ready. But uh, it will be uh, delivered in, um, in Oslo, right? Yes, I was planning to uh, take a vacation uh, down south and then drive it north. Uh, I ordered it uh, in uh, August last year and I've been waiting a long time. Uh, hopefully it will be arriving soon. And uh, I will be driving the same route as you. Uh, hmm. And uh, I'm uh, very keen on knowing where to charge uh, north of Trondheim because uh, I realized that it could take some time to uh, get home. Yeah. Looking forward to getting the car though. Mm -hmm. We uh, ate some uh, breakfast and uh, yeah, it's uh, noon already. So I think it's time for us to uh, leave Sørshusen and head for uh, Arta. Are now in Arsta, and uh, the manager of uh, East Housecraft was so nice to uh, lend us his uh, 400 volt uh, 32 amp uh, red plug. Yeah, so uh, we're gonna go there and uh, get some uh, fast charging. And then nearby here, there's a shopping mall, so we can hang out there for a couple hours. Here is the 32 amp uh, 400 volt plug to so, plug in the portable uh, charger into the Tesla and voila we are now charging charging at 26 amp so this is awesome it's gonna take only two hours two and a half hours to uh, finish it so as you can see, we are now in Alta, which is uh, very, very far north in Norway. Hang on, let me zoom out a bit. Oh yeah, I like this nice feature. It says, oh, well, let me zoom in there. Um, with the new uh, 5.9 update, like that. It will now store all the Charging points, you see, like dots, 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 getting up there. Yeah, we are in Alta, so we are very close to uh, Nurkap. So, this um, facility where I'm charging at is a uh, Hexa Bio Energy. You know, they uh, they take. Uh, uh, oh, what is this thing called again? Uh, well, it's from. Yeah. <laughs> They take this and they burn it, and it produces uh, heat. Yeah. Uh, so um, it's from. Uh, I mean, it's just a byproduct from the, the lumber industry, anyway. So they come here in big trucks, and actually, this facility here, it's not that big. It's uh, large enough to uh, supply the whole Alta with uh, heat, and it can even uh, supply more. Yeah, but it's just 
Not enough people here, I guess. There we go. Uh, anyway, we are going to uh, Amphi uh, Center, a shopping mall. They close in two hours and we have to get some supplies because uh, tomorrow, and the day after tomorrow, and the day after that again, uh, is a public holiday. So in Norway, everything is closed. Yeah. But not long after we entered the shopping mall, something happened. Seems like the charging stopped and I can't start it. Uh, my guess is that the fuse actually went out after about half an hour of charging. Uh, so I have to hurry back and uh, see what's going on. Um, there was a guy over there, so maybe you can just go to the fuse box and uh, uh, open it again. Uh, we probably have to lower the speed, maybe. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, let's see. Like, is this a charging stop? Um, well, okay, this is red, but huh. okay, so there's power here. Hmm, well, then the fuse could be some kind of automatic fuse that. You know, shuts off and then turns on again uh, but uh, if I don't lower the current it will probably just shut off again uh, and as for the Tesla or the charging box uh, once it stopped it's not going to automatically resume so I could try start charging actually I think it doesn't work I have to uh, yeah I have to unplug and uh, plug it in again that's, that usually works. So. What I do is double click here. Oh, uh -huh, uh -huh. no, no, uh, okay, okay. So I have to do this and then, um, yeah, I'm gonna plug it in. Uh, yeah, and there's another problem. Senna uh, Landa has um, convoy because of bad weather. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you see, we are here in Alta, and uh, our destination for tonight is Honningsborg. And Senalane is located over here. Yeah, there's some there are some mountains here. Uh, and the weather report says that uh, <laughs> it's going to be worse, and well, at least it's not going it's not going to be less wind in the evening and night. So we have to just charge up now and get over there. Uh, well, there is 207 kilometers to Honningsvog, but um, as I experienced before, it's always a good uh, rule to have, yeah, at least in these conditions, winter conditions, 100 kilometers of spare range. So we should at least charge to 300, maybe even 350, and then go. Yeah. Ooh, what the heck? Uh, I was charging at, uh, you see, about two hours on 26 amp, and suddenly uh, the current just dropped to zero. Oh, whoa, there it happened again. Whoa, charging problem. So, um, I think, yeah, <laughs> it was just a coincidence that it happened just now. I'm not sure what it is, but uh, my guess is that uh, the voltage is just too high. Uh, when it hits 240 volt, the, the Tesla says no, and it stops. Because the, the rest of the equipment is okay. And the fuse is not out, because there is power in, here, in the plug. Uh, yeah, but um, anyway, the situation now is that... Um, I told you earlier that uh, this mountain uh, has a um, convoy, but it actually, it's not that one, Senalane. Senalane is over here, and there was a convoy there, but now, because of bad weather, the mountain is closed. And we are stuck here in Alta. So there are some options. We could drive the long way around here, uh, through Karashok and Laksalv. Uh, but... 
uh, I think we can just wait here in Alta. So I mean, there's there's power here, so you know, and there are shops here, and yeah. Uh, so we're just gonna wait here, and hopefully the weather will clear up. As you see, there is. I mean, the weather here in Alta is okay, but um, yeah, let's just cross our fingers for bad for good weather. We are now leaving uh, Alta because uh, the road is open again, but uh, with a convoy. So uh, yeah, hopefully we can just get there and uh, get over the mountain. Just past uh, Olderfjord, and is now heading towards uh, Honningsvåg, which is only 35 kilometers from uh, Nullkap. The problem is um, we came here too late, so which means uh, we won't be getting the red plug at Rema Tusen in Honningsvåg. Uh, we need that red plug. I don't know how it's going to work because we have 240 kilometers on the battery now and by the time we get to Nordkop, I mean, well, by the time we get to Honningsvåg we will have about 140 left uh, which means if we don't get power we can't get back to Alta right now we are driving towards the unknown We didn't run out of luck yet, because uh, in the morning, the manager of uh, Rema Tusen gave us access to the red plug. Oh yeah, so um, I got access to the, the red plug in uh, Rema. And then, uh, because this is a 16 amp, I use uh, UMC. So, it is now charging at 400 volt. We can charge it for a little bit now. Yeah, getting uh, about 46. Should be stabilizing on 50 kilometers per hour. Breakfast today is uh, Ratti Koppen, uh, which is uh, uh, straight in the cup. Yeah. So there's some pasta bolognese there and uh, potato with uh, meat and all this stuff. And then we are using the 12 volt uh, kettle to boil water. Yeah, it works great. And also, today we are picking up uh, two puppies uh, in older fuel. Uh, they will be sent to two different locations one uh, somewhere around uh, Bardufoss, nearby here, yeah. and another one in Bode. So uh, these two puppies, they are uh, easy bring tasks. Oh, and today, you have to drive all the way from Nordkap back to uh, Sørkjosen here. So that's, um, I think it was about uh, 400 uh, kilometers. I don't remember exactly, but it's a long drive. So. We are now on our way to Nuikop. Uh, <laughs> the view here is just breathtaking. It's insane. 
And I mean, you guys, if you want to come here, come here in April, like now, mid-April. It's just amazing. Yeah, lots of snow. And it's like being on another planet. Yeah. Wow, never seen a view like this before.